Today let's learn about drawing text on canvas. Here we have a 200 into 200 pixels canvas. Once it once the HTML page loads, we check if the browser supports get context method. If it supports, then we use that 2D context and and start drawing our text yes it's drawing text it's similar to drawing any other paths you can use fill style stroke style on them but you you cannot use css effects on it let's see it we have a property called font we could set all the properties of a font like it's font face font style font weight size variant etc by default it's 10 pixels sans serif i'll just text stroke it first parameter is our string and the following parameters are its position on the canvas it is I'm giving 10 pixels x-axis and 100 pixels y-axis. So here is our text. We could simply apply stroke style and other properties to it. I'll I'll set the text align property. It takes start as its value by default and left right and center now the microsoft text goes to left because we have given it's actually center for the alignment of 10 comma 100 now i now now the text comes exactly to the center of this canvas remember this canvas is of width 200 pixels and then height of 200 pixels as i said text align takes values like start and left right and center now i'll give stroke style to it a color of cyan let's have a look how it looks on the canvas okay similar to this pair stroke style and stroke text we have other things like fill style as you have already seen in our previous videos associated with that we also have fill text method i'll give a fill style of blue and fill text is similar to that of stroke text yeah it's filled with blue color now i'll just increase the size of the font and we could clearly see that fill text and stroke text also takes another parameter which is width of the text how wide it can the minimum width the text can stretch across So it can't go beyond 10, 100 pixels in our case. Now we will see measure text method. Measure text returns the dimension matrix of the string using the current font settings. So let's see the width property of my string. How wide our text is actually set. I'll, I'll just stroke a line below the actual text we have already drawn on the canvas i'll move to 100 comma 100 same value here or else i'll change it to 10 comma 10 so that i also need to change it to change the move to 10 comma 100 
now the line 2 takes the first parameter as text width it's an object which has a property called width so text w dot width comma 100 now just stroke these lines out let's have a look at it on our browser since we are giving 10 comma 100 let's align it left so that it comes exactly onto the canvas view here what if we change this move to x-axis also I'll stroke style the line to red color I'll also increase the line width here so that we can see the line clearly. I'll make it 4 pixels. 4 pixels is good to go now. Yeah, that's fine. Let me make it 10 pixels back. Let's see. So if you can change the start point and end point. let me bring the line a little bit below this okay now let's see another property called text baseline so text baseline takes values like top hanging middle alphabetic which is default ideographic and bottom well ideographic and hanging are somewhat used in Chinese maybe and hanging can be used in Indian language like Hindi for English top bottom and alphabetic is enough we could even use middle I'll, I'll show you how this top value works so this is how top value works if you write bottom the text moves up hanging hanging can be used in the language called Hindi an Indian language if if we had correctly drawn this line to 10 comma 100 middle would, would uh, look like striking out of uh, striking out this text hanging it just hangs to this line for now let's keep it to bottom so text rendering text you could give font text align text baseline fill text stroke text measure text and also properties like stroke style fill style etc coming up we'll see some transition patterns etc uh, on these texts so stay tuned please stay subscribed to our blog technotip.com and to our youtube channel also pass this video to your friends on facebook google plus linkedin twitter stumble upon etc also like this video on youtube